Jared Poland Fronos Photo dot com and this is your mayor photo news fix this fix is brought to you by replica surfaces the lightweight stain resistant surfaces that replicate real textures like terracotta wood cement and more i mean look at this this is butcher block right here and it kind of looks like our floors at the factory but guess what it's not really wood. <laughs> Basically, you can create a mini studio anywhere for shooting products, life lats, food, or even action figures like He-Man. <laughs> What's great about replica surfaces, they are light, rigid, stain, and glare resistant and portable. We're always looking for new backgrounds and surfaces here at the factory, but we're limited to brick and wood because we don't have shiplap or herringbone marble, but replica surfaces does. But now we can create over 150 different combinations by mixing and matching replica surfaces. To check them out for yourself, head on over to replicasurfaces.com and use the code FRO at checkout to get 15% off your order. First up, Instagram recently introduced something called sensitive content control. So I'm guessing if you're an emo band, you're probably about to be censored. So what is this control and how will it affect you? Instagram on their blog says, the point of these guidelines is to keep people safe. We don't allow hate speech, bullying, and other content that might present a risk of harm to people. Right. Sure you don't. Have you ever been in my comment section? No. Oh, that's right, you're owned by Facebook, and Facebook perpetuates hate and negativity. So the men sometimes tell lies? They continued, you can think of sensitive content as posts that don't necessarily break our rules, but could potentially be upsetting to some people, such as posts that may be sexually suggestive or violent. <laughs> Here's what I say. Please give me as much sexually suggestive content as possible. Like, more of this, please. In fact, give me more men. A lot more men. You hear that, Instagram? Just throw all of those men at my feed right now. I know you're listening. Okay. Are they listening? So how do you control how much or how little sensitive content you will be served? Go to your profile, tap settings menu in the upper right hand corner, tap account, then tap sensitive content control. There you will find that it is set to default, which is what Instagram says that it has been set to all along. Now, if you're like me, you'll click allow to see all that glorious sensitive content. Or if you're a dainty flower like Dan, then you will click limit. You don't know me. But what about Nikon and Fuji fan people? What should they click? Sensitive, right? Sensitive. What will you be clicking? Let me know down below. Next up, after numerous false starts. <laughs> oh no. And leaks, it looks like the Sony ZV-E10 has officially been announced, or has it? Let's check with Davida with Sony PR. Hello, Davida? Yeah. Is it official? <laughs> okay, it's official. We got the ZV-E10 over two months ago to review, so this one's been in the can for a little while. Now I've posted a full 30 minute review, which you can check out after the fix. Don't go now, but the link is down below. The short of it is this. It's super light, cheap feeling, a hodgepodge of parts that houses an APS-C size sensor and has an E-mount. On paper, it sounds pretty solid. In your hands, well, it feels like it's a super dainty flower, kind of like Dan. Now that doesn't mean it's not capable of being a solid content creation camera. Now you see what I did there? I didn't call it a vlogging camera since vlogging is dead, like the dishes. <laughs> Done, man. It sports a 24 megapixel sensor Bion X processor, ISO from 100 to 32,425 autofocusing points, real time tracking, and IAF flip out rotatable screen, three capsule microphone, zoom lever, tally lights, SD card slot, and a bunch of other interesting features. Now, what it does not have is an EVF mechanical image stabilization or Sony's new menu system. Why, Sony? Why? One job. But the biggest thing it doesn't have is a heavy price tag. The ZVE10 as a body only is $699 or $799 with the crappy 16 to 50 power zoom lens, or if you're Canadian, it's $2,500. You guys are dick. At the end of the day, for that price, you actually can get some pretty quality footage from this little box. Now it's not for me personally, but maybe it's for you. And finally, in a story that might make some people very angry, Canon Rumors is reporting that they've heard multiple mentions coming out of Tokyo that the R3 is not 30 or 45 megapixels, but closer to or around 24. Now remember when I guessed it would be around 20 to 24? I'm just gonna go out here and say, I, I think it's gonna be 21 to 24. 
maybe my guess will be proven correct after all. Now I know some photographers are hoping that it's going to be on the higher side at 45, but one of the theories that Steven has is that the R3 was really going to be the first version of the R1, but when Sony hit us with 50 megapixels and 30 frames per second in the A1, Canon quickly pivoted the lower megapixel R1 to the R3 and fast-tracked a future higher megapixel R1. I know that's a lot to swallow, but it could be true. What would be really interesting is if Canon released the R3 at 24 megapixels and Nikon released the Z9 at 45, then we might be calling for the Nikon money truck to make a delivery. Now, with that being said, 24 megapixels is good, but 45 and 50 are even better, especially for sports photographers like this guy, Bruce Bennett, who is the king of cropping. What do you think the final megapixel count will be on the R3? In breaking news. So could I be right? Is it going to be 24 megapixels? Well, Canon Rumors put out a rumor saying from the Olympics that they got metadata or EXIF data from an R3 and it's saying that it's 24 megapixels. Now we're gonna wait for the final announcement, but I thought I would just jump in here because that came in after I already filmed the fix. And there you have it. That's your photo news fix this time around. To check out the last fix, go ahead and click on the screen right about here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And that's where I'm gonna leave it. Jared Poland, Photo.com. See ya.